delta y connection, conversion. Sometimes you encounter an ugly circuit, uh, what am I going to do with this? So you might see a circuit that looks like this. And you go, how am I going to handle that? I'm showing you where we use this one. That's a bridge circuit. Yeah, a problem like this. Go, uh oh, what do I do with this? How do I simplify it? Well, you can take this part here, or you can take the bottom part here. See, that looks like what? Delta? Triangle? And I can convert that to a Y connection. If I can take this piece, if I said simplify this, you really couldn't simplify the circuit. If I said find out equivalent. But what will happen if I can take that piece out now and replace it with an equivalent value that looks like this? It's called a Y. Could you simplify the rest of the circuit now? Could you find R equivalent if I can do that? These two guys connected what? In series, find one resistor. These two guys in series, find one resistor. The result in parallel, find the equivalent, add it to that one. So it would be nice if there is a way I can change delta to Y or Y to delta. That's what this topic is. How do we go from delta to Y? If you have a delta circuit and you want to change it to a Y, I'll try to make it bigger here so I can write it. So I'll use, I have, the black is what I have. So we know R1, we know these values. This is R sub two, and this is R sub three. So this one is delta to Y. We're gonna change it to a Y. From delta to Y. I can replace this with one that looks like this, an equivalent value. I'm going I'm to call that R sub X. I'm going to call this R sub Y. And I'm going to call this R sub Z. To find R sub X, uh, I forgot to put a 2 here. To find R sub X, the first one, if you look at the picture, I do it intentionally, I did it that way intentionally. Because the same thing for all of them. See where R sub X is squeezed between what? I'll give you a chance to write to draw the diagram. R sub X is squeezed between this and that. So on the top is going to be what? R1 times R sub 2. You multiply the ones around it. And then the bottom is always going to be the same. It's the sum of all three of them. R sub Y. In my picture, R sub Y is squeezed between which values? What are the resistors around R sub Y? One three. one, three. So the top will be one and three. The bottom is still going to be the same. The sum of all three. And R sub Z will be, again, R sub Z between two and three. On the top will be R two, R three. The bottom, one, two, and three. So that's how we change what delta to y. So if you have a circuit that looks like this, we can change that to one that looks like this. Rx, Ry, and Rz. We can replace this with that. We can also do the reverse. We can go from Y to Delta. 
So this is delta 2y. y to delta. By the way, I drew delta like this, right? The book sometimes deceiving. They draw delta like this. Does that look like delta connection? Oh. Does that look like delta? Sure it does. Just looks different because that point in the bottom is the same, right? So you could actually, so when you look at it, you don't see, I don't, I don't see the delta here. Where is it? You could redraw that to like this. So when you're looking at it, it looks like, oh, it can't be. That's not delta. Yes, it is. Now, what about y to delta? y to delta, that's y to delta, like this. If you have y, I'll make the ones I have always in black, and the ones I'm looking for are in blue. I have r sub x. I have r sub y. And I have r sub z. I should be able to replace that with a delta I'm going to call this R sub 1. This is R sub 2. This is R sub 3. Now, to find what R sub 1, remember the previous one, the bottom was always the same. See this? The bottom was always the same. The top was changing. When you go from y to delta, it's the reverse. The bottom, the top is always the same, but the bottom is changing. So what's the top? The top is going to be, it's a big one. Ready for the top? We're going to multiply. Here is r sub 1. It's going to be r sub x times r sub y. Plus. So it's this times this. Plus y times z. Plus z times x. Divided by, here we go. Look at R sub 1. What's the resistor way opposite to R sub 1? R sub what? R sub Z. That's what's going to go on the bottom. If I'm looking for R sub 2, the top is going to be the same. And I'm looking for R sub 2. The resistor opposite to R sub 2 is what? R sub y. And if I'm looking for R sub 3, again, the top is the same. And the bottom for R sub 3, where is R sub 3? Is this one, will be R sub x. So if we have this one, I can turn this to this one. I can turn this one to this one using these values. Again, the top for this, in case you missed it, this times this, plus this times this, plus this times that. The bottom, if I'm looking for R sub 1, is R sub Z. If I'm looking for R sub 2, the bottom is R sub Y. If I'm looking for R sub 3, the bottom is R sub X. The top doesn't change.
And that's the last piece in chapter 5. How do you convert from Y to delta, delta to Y? Again, the book will trick us. They said this, this is a delta or Y connection. It might not look like Y. They might draw it like this. Does that look like a Y? Sure it does. Upside down. Yep. Looks like this one. When you look at it, like, oh, it doesn't look like it. Yes, it does. So if I want, I can take that and change it to a delta. Like this. So that's how their Y's looks, that's how delta looks.